What's up guys, welcome back to Shifting Lanes. My name is Gregson and today we're installing the rarest P2 generation wheel ever made. So if you're new to the channel, thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video and you like what you see, please consider hitting the subscribe button below and giving this video a thumbs up at the end. Today I am unboxing and showing you the rarest P2 generation Volvo wheels ever made. I got them from George and Connor over at Viva Performance. So go check them out. Their stuff is in the description below. You can buy these wheels from them right now. They have two different colors. They have this, which is silver. They also have gunmetal. And if you follow us on Instagram at Shifting Lanes, you will be able to see both of those colors on our feed. I personally ordered the silver just because I think silver goes great with magic blue or dark blue or any dark colors like dark red, dark green paint. So I ordered the silver. I think it looks awesome. Today we're getting the tires installed and I have a set sitting in the back of the V7ER. So without further ado, let's unbox these wheels. We can check them out. And then after we get the wheels and tires all mounted and balanced from the mobile tire installer, which should be here soon, uh, I'll show you a couple other things that I got for this car, including installing a really cool air filter from Swede Source. So here she is, and let's take a look at the first unboxing, the first time seeing these wheels brand new in many, many years. Now, I've previously opened this package myself off camera because I wanted to inspect the wheels, make sure that there was no damage. Anytime you order wheels, always, always, always open them as soon as possible to make sure there's no damage so that you can contact the shipper or the company that made them and gave them to you so you can let them know but without further ado oh yeah now we're talking now these look like pretty much a lot of different other wheels uh, on the market this design is you know copied between company 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 i actually had a set very much like this on my old aston martin v8 vantage that was previously owned by doug demuro and tavarish these are vanilla performance wheels and the difference between them is you can see uh these markings right here via vanilla performance um you have your ratings, your load ratings and everything. But this design looks very much like a BBS, you know, uh, CR or CH wheel. But these are vanillas and they are drilled to 5x108 and have the correct offset for the P2 generation cars. So when we put them on this car, we won't need wheel spacers to get the correct stance and the correct amount of poke that we want from the wheel and tire. So there they have, there you have it. There they are, vanilla performance wheels. These are 19 by 8.5. And I believe all of the wheels that George is selling or Viva Performance is selling, George and Connor over there, are 19 by 8.5. So with that, let's take a look at the tires that are going on. Now I'm a big fan of Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's and Pilot Super Sports. I've had them on my WRX. These are, and my WRX and the V70R, these are not them. Believe it or not, these, I've actually gone with a different tire. These are Nokians. <laughs> and you might know Nokians because that is the winter tire I have. These are Nokian Hakapolita R2s, and they are absolutely filthy. This whole car is filthy. I need to really do a detail. I just detailed the XC90, and I'm putting out a video next week on that, so stay tuned for that. Uh, it's absolutely insane what <laughs> we were able to do with this car and Avalon King's Armor Shield 9, but that's coming in another video. So yeah, I have Nokian Hakapolita R2s on that wheel, and these are the Z-Lines by Nokian, and Right here, 235, 35, ZR19, a 91Y, and extra load rating, which means they are, load, are rated for a lot of weight, which is excellent, and that's exactly what we want because Volvos are heavy, so that's good. Um, Nokian right there with a very cool car graphic on the side. So we're going to get these mounted up um, from the mobile tire installer, which should be here in just a few minutes. And then we'll put them on the car and see how they look. So in an unexpected turn of events, these wheels actually couldn't get on the tires in the truck, but we got them to the shop and we got them back. So thank you so much. This is awesome. And they look so good. Oh my God. Well, I have Volvo center caps instead of these. Those are going away. I'll put the Volvo center caps in and then we'll get these on the car. So huge shout out to Momentum Tire and Wheel in West Caldwell, New Jersey to uh, Edgar and Frankie. Yeah, these are awesome. They look like they came out great. So yeah, 
These didn't have enough power in the truck, that's all it Yeah, is. yeah, and just so if you guys are mounting wheels on your car or you're having someone come out, uh, 35 section sidewalls, maybe a little bit uh, too tight for some of the mobile uh, installation um, machines, but if you go to a shop, they should be able to do these, no problem, which is exactly what Momentum Wheel and Tire did. The legends that actually uh, brought them back to me. I was gonna go pick them up, but thank you guys so much. Huge shout, if you're in the New Jersey, New York area, definitely check them out. I'll drop all their info in the description below. Thank you so much and you guys are absolute legends thank you cheers man you guys oh my god i can't freaking believe how good these look oh man all right i gotta get these cleaned up so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put these on the car but in another video i'm actually going to be ceramic coating these with avalon king's armor shield 9 uh, and if you want any information on that that will also be in the description below but basically i just did the xc90 with the same thing um, and you can ceramic coat wheels you can ceramic coat basically anything you want you can even ceramic coat leather uh, if you really wanted to but um, i'm gonna ceramic coat these i'm also gonna ceramic coat the new headlight lenses that i have up front um, that I did on this car when we sent these off to HID projectors and we got new lights. So these are brand new lenses and I want to protect them. So I'm going to give these a quick buff and polish and then I'm going to put some ceramic coat on these. Same thing with the wheels. These winters are coming off. So if you don't like the white wheels, they're coming off for the season and as well as these mirror caps. But I have another set of these to paint silver to match these wheels, which I think will look quite nice. So let's fast forward to when we're going to put these on. And then after that, I'm going to install another thing that I really want to show you guys. It is the Swede Source air filter. So it is the next day and apologies if there's any noise coming from up there. My neighbors are having some construction done. Obviously not a huge deal, but if you hear any noises, that's what that is. And check out the wheels they are looking so good now this has a stock linea course or linea course so i don't know how to pronounce it um center cap yeah words fail me center cap here but you can put some volvo ones in here because these wheels are made specifically to volvo spec it's five by 108 drilling it has a perfect center bore and it has the right offset so that you get that nice deep concave kind of look and you won't have to run spacers now I run spacers, uh, I don't have to because I have pegs. I had to run spacers with the old wheels and this spacer is sort of just on there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit this with a little bit of a PB blaster, kind of WD-40, get this off, and then put the new wheel on. These hubs are looking a little rusty. I may just clean those up just a little bit and that's pretty much it. The brake calipers, I'm gonna do these in another video. You can see here, this is actually a pretty deep gouge. Um, I got the car like this, these brake calipers are like this. I think a previous owner, um, probably not Alex Spinner because he was running stock stuff, uh, OEM stuff. I think a previous owner had some other wheels on this car and just ended up scratching these. So I'm gonna redo these. I have some new R stickers on order and I'm gonna change the color to make it really, really cool looking. So everything else in here looking pretty good. Just, just the normal cleaning that's needed. But I'm gonna put the wheels on today and I'll do all the cleaning and other stuff off camera another day because I want you guys to see everything that's kind of happening here and it's looking really Really, really good so let's get the wheels on here and here and take a look of what we got So there is our first wheel on. Now you probably saw me struggling and you probably heard about what I did in the voiceover, but that's a lowered car with perfect fitment. And to give you an idea, it's a little bit lower in the front, obviously, because the BC coils have a little bit of a rake to them. So a little bit higher in the back, but you can adjust that. But this is what it looks like. And here's what the Pegasus wheel looks like. You see, it's still like tucked in a little bit there. You can see the wheel in the back you can see the vanilla poking out already and the fitment is just absolutely perfect it's unbelievably good i can't even believe it. it's so much more aggressive whoa and it's perfect like i don't need spacers that's such an amazing thing like i never have to run spacers on this car again because the pegasus wheels obviously are oem and i don't need to run spacers in the winter because pegasus just fits over the brake calipers but look at these things they are absolutely perfect 
Now, like I said before, this wheel is a style that's mimicked by basically everybody and, and a ton of different uh, companies. But the thing is, this is custom for our cars. So if you have a P2 Volvo, this is gonna be perfect. It's perfect offset, it's perfect bolt pattern, and it's perfect to the hub. There's no hub centric ring on here, guys. That is huge in an aftermarket wheel. Like that's almost unheard of. You usually almost always have to have a hub centric ring or a hub centric anything. Sorry, a hub centric wheel, I think I said before, but hub centric ring, there's nothing. There's literally nothing. That, gone. And it's a great spacer, but I don't need them anymore. And oh my God, it just transforms how this car looks. Okay, so let's get the rest of the wheels off and I'll show you guys the after. So I've taken her out and I've pulled off. And here she is with the new wheels on. And this car looks perfect. Almost, and I'll tell you why. Here is the after. Ladies and gentlemen, all 3% of the ladies that watch this channel, but you guys are out there, you ladies are out there, so gotta give respect to you as well. Um, this is epic. I mean, it looks so good. The tires and wheels look so freaking aggressive. I love it. I think that one looks a little bit low on air. It might be just that it's parked on gravel. I'm not sure. I got to check the pressure. Oh man. Wow. This is, uh, <laughs> this is amazing. Um, I'll talk about this in a minute. It's a very cool little piece, but as I go back in and do some other things, that's what part of what I want to talk about today. Wow. I mean, guys, guys, this is, <laughs> this is next level cool for this car. I mean, it's just so good looking the car is shining i uh, recently just did um a quick little polish on it with some uh, spray detail and man it looks amazing honestly it, it looks like a new car with these wheels i mean <laughs> i can't even begin to describe how happy i am because this is what i've been looking for for the last two to three years i mean that is very close to this picture that i'm showing up right now because this has been my muse for this car. This is the reason, this picture is the reason why I got this car in the first place. And this is almost exactly. The differences are, this is an 05, that's an 04. Um, so the trim pieces here are plastic. So if you don't know these cars, um, you know, the 04s, uh, 2004s had uh, plastic trim and 05 plus had this trim was just body colored. So that's a bit of a difference. That picture has OEM mud flats, mud flats, wow, no. OEM mud flaps um, behind each wheel and this car does not. I actually think I prefer this look a little bit more. It looks a little cleaner, looks a little bit more aggressive without the mud flaps. So there you have it. She looks amazing. I am super stoked. With all that said, I can't wait to get this thing back to the garage and put in the sweet source air filter. So let's head back there and let's do that right now. So we're here in the garage and as you can see, I've gained a lot of stuff on the side of my car because it's another day, but the wheels look good. I cleaned up the paint a little bit. It's looking a lot cleaner and having some really nice shine. What's up guys? But let's crack open this engine bay because this is beautiful. This is the Swede Source air filter and they make them in all sizes. Um, my buddy Josh, who I'm in a couple of groups with and he's in basically all the P2R groups. Uh, he and I believe um, one or two partners basically put this company together and you can see it's a very well-made product. This is a honeycomb sort of metal and they have them in different colors. This is the blue color and it sort of matches up as you can see with the sizing here just in a really you know terrible way that I'm just holding it next to it it's not accurate at all without what I'm doing but this is pretty much the same size as this AEM filter and it almost matches the blue in the paint so that's kind of cool uh, it'll look a lot better in the engine bay and it'll match the blue sort of all throughout them you know it's a blue theme in here so what I'm gonna do is basically put this on and uh, 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 choo! whoa that was easy. So yeah, here's the old filter. Um, you can reuse this clamp. I chose not to because they give you one. So why even reuse it? But fitment is absolutely perfect. It was a little snug getting over the math, um, math mouth, but you know, it really wasn't bad at all. Uh, this is even a little looser. So you can see in here, um, 
it's a little interesting uh you know it's, a, it's your typical filter whatever it's an aem filter it comes with a snap kit um this is a lot nicer you get this sort of open mouth design in the front and like i said again the honeycomb it's really nice go check them out on facebook um this is a really high quality filter uh it is a little pricey however it's worth every penny because all you need to do you can find the instructions on their facebook page uh it's sweet source i'll link it in the description below all you have to do is basically take this out wash it per their instructions and put it back in this is the last filter you ever have to buy it's dry media you don't have to oil it it really is good and this is made by a volvo enthusiast so go check them out go support them very cool i like it a lot it looks better and best part this is dyno tested to give you better power over stock they have all the dyno numbers on their facebook page go check them out now that that's in the last thing i want to do tonight is around back and this is just an aesthetic change but i have been holding on to this for such a long time and i promised the guy that gave me this i would <laughs> i would put this in a video and here it is because it's such a cool little thing i have the factory um tow hitch back here it's very hard to see but this is the best the stock one it's not really anything special but this is a new one and this basically takes the front hood or the front grill emblem and puts it into a tow hitch so like so boom and you've kind of jazzed up the back of your car a little bit i think that looks really good um i will drop a shot right now of it in the daylight because you can't really see it right now but this was made by a guy uh his name is pat fitzpatrick um you may have seen him uh in a couple of our videos um specifically from carlisle um a couple of years ago um actually i think it was last year he has the black and gold uh p2r uh v70r wagon it is a very cool car pat just made this for me because he you know he's an awesome guy so uh if you want any information on it um just go you know <laughs> just just email us i'll give you his, his information but uh yeah pat fitzpatrick um on basically any any group um or any forum uh guy's awesome so thanks again pat you are a legend so the new wheels are on the v70r i couldn't be happier with how this car looks uh, i'm going to take the car to get some proper photos done uh, hopefully by uh, a couple of friends in the area um it's just <laughs> it's tough to do because of the whole situation going on right now as is everything but you know hopefully you guys are staying happy healthy and safe as i've always wished you in these videos um but yeah <laughs> i can't say enough and i mean they just look so good, especially with the Volvo center cap. Ah, I can't believe it. So, so nice. Love it, love it, love it. Ah, I'm so excited, honestly. It's been two years, two years. Probably, actually, it's been, actually, it's been more like three years. I've almost owned a V70R for almost three years, guys. And I've been searching for these ever since I found that photo before I even started. Actually, it has been three years, but I got them now so stoked for that and i think it's amazing it looks so good if you haven't checked it out we have pictures of it uh, just some basic iphone with a light editing photos on our instagram if you don't know our instagram is at shifting lanes so go follow us there also go follow us on facebook and follow us anywhere else because we post all of our stuff everywhere you can find these videos on facebook and on instagram um coming soon because instagram has done a lot with their video platform we're going to start uploading these to instagram as well youtube first then a week later on facebook and instagram george from viva performance thank you dude honestly he and i have been talking about wheels for probably close probably over two years since i've been in this community uh george is a really stand-up guy over at viva and honestly he's a really good asset to the volvo community so definitely go check out these wheels if you want them you can purchase them at vivaperformance.com right now there's two colors there's this silver and there's gunmetal and honestly they look good on every p2r you want your p2r to look good these are the wheels you get guys I understand VSTs are cool. I understand pegs look great. These are the best, sorry. That will do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will catch you next time. See ya.